Hello everybody! Watch this video to find out how to recover data from a RAID system with the DAD3Ware 9650 SE 4L PML controller. RAID arrays are an effective method to ensure safety and reliability of data storage by combining several hard disks into one logical volume and distributing data across them. Controllers play a crucial role in building a RAID system, as well as in ensuring data integrity and availability. Controllers of this 3 bar model are a reliable and popular solution to create various RAID systems. However, a controller may fail one day, just like any other device. When the controller stops working properly, it triggers a series of gray problems, and loss of access to your data stored on, on the disk array is only one of them. Such situation can become a severe problem, especially when you store available or necessary files on that disk array. The 3 wire 9650 SE controller crash or failure can be caused by various factors, including hardware issues, controller errors, or physical damage. As a result, the normal operation of your RAID system is disrupted, and you face the problem of losing access to your files, or even losing your data. Data recovery uh, from an unoperable RAID based on the 3Ware 9650SE controller requires special knowledge and a particular approach. It is important to take effective action to minimize the risks and preserve the integrity and accessibility of your data. In a few minutes, we'll explore how to retrieve important data from your RAID system if the controller is out of order. To understand how a RAID is designed, let's explore the process of building a disk array on this controller model. You can create a RAID with the controller's bias. Access it by pressing the key shortcut ALT3 while the system is booting. You will see a warning that changing the array configuration can result in overwriting the files. Press any key to continue. If you need to make changes to the configuration or create a backup, press Escape. To create a new array, choose the disks with a space key or press the key shortcut ALT-A to select all drives. Then press Tab to jump to the bottom Create Unit, or press the key shortcut ALT-C, then press Enter. At the next stage, give the array name and press Enter. After that, choose the RAID level and specify the stripe size. Change other properties if necessary. To open additional settings, click Advanced. When all the properties are given, click OK. After the drives are initialized, the RAID is ready for work. To save the configuration and restart, press F8 and Yes. Now, let's find out how to replace a faulty controller. First of all, you need a controller of exactly the same model, 3Ware 9650SE4L PML. After that, disconnect the storage system from the power source and remove all cables connected to the faulty controller. Then, take the old controller carefully out from the system case and replace it with a new one. Make sure that all cables are connected properly and sit tightly in their ports. It is also important to observe the original connection sequence for the drives. Power on the system and wait until it boots. Access the new controller's setting. The controller should upload the configuration automatically. You will see your array here. Press Escape to restart. If you can't find a controller of the same model or you can't replace the faulty item with a new one, the second method to restore access to your files is to use a specialized software tool – Hetman RAID Recovery. Hetman RAID Recovery supports all popular RAID types, most file systems, and various array patterns used by many RAID controllers. It can rebuild the crashed RAID with the available hard disks and help you recover important files. For data recovery, you need to connect all the hard disks to the motherboard of a Windows computer. The program will automatically rebuild the damaged system with the hard disks. What is more, it can also rebuild the RAID system even if one or several disks are missing, but it depends on the RAID type – RAID 5 or 6 – and its varieties. If your motherboard has less set of ports or power connectors than necessary, use additional adapters and expansion cards. After the array is built, Hetman RAID Recovery enables you to check the correctness of its identification in the Drive Manager. The brief RAID information is displayed below. If necessary, you can view the array properties including the list of hard disks used to create it. To start looking for files, right-click on the volume and choose Open. After that, select the scan type, File Scan or Full Analysis. 
we recommend running a fast scan first, it will take less time. If fast scan is not available or the program can't find the missing files, then go for full analysis. Go back to the main window, right-click on the volume and choose Analyze again. Full analysis, specify the file system and click Next. When the scan is over, open the folder where the files which you need to recover used to be stored. All files can be previewed, so you can see the contents of documents, photos and even videos. The program also marks the previously deleted files with the red cross. Select the files you want to restore and click the Recover button. Specify where to save the files, choose the disk and folder and click Recover again. In the end, you will find the recovered files in the folder you have chosen. This is how Hetman RAID Recovery provides you with a convenient and effective way to recover data from a non-operable RAID system based on 3 ware 9650 SE controller, even if you don't have another controller of the same model or can't access the hardware sources of your system. In some situations, the program may fail to rebuild the RAID automatically. It can happen when the service information on the disks is erased, so the program cannot identify parameters of the crashed RAID. In such cases, the RAID constructor with the manual build feature will help you. This tool will save the day when the disk beginning is erased, together with the information about the RAID parameters. This is what typically happens when disks are connected to another controller and the previous configuration is erased, when the RAID is rebuilt or when disks are initialized. After initialization, data will be erased completely. So if you know the array parameters, start the constructor, choose manual mode, next. Specify the array type, block order, and size. Add the disks it used to include and replace the missing disks with empty drives by clicking the plus button. You may have to specify the offset, which tells you where the beginning of the disk is located. One more thing to choose is the disk order. When you give all the parameters you know, you will see your RAID, and if all information is correct, you will see its folders here. Fill in all properties and click Add. After that, the RAID system will appear in the Drive Manager. Now stop the scan. Search for files and recover the ones you need. So, today we have explored several ways of recovering data from a crashed RAID after a controller breakdown. If you can, replace the faulty controller with a similar one. If you can't, use the data recovery tool, Hetman RAID Recovery. In either case, always remember to backup your files regularly. Such backups will help you recover data when the controller fails or in case of other unexpected problems. And that is all for now. I hope this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave your comments under the video. Thank you for watching and good luck!